welcome back to Claire de Lune from Scratch. Okay, we took a look at the first measure. Now, let's go on. I'm going to go ahead and cut out both measures, the beginning. By the way, a measure, you can tell what a measure is by the line that breaks these, it's the, it's the vertical line that breaks the horizontal ones. Every time you see a vertical line, that's the portion contained in one measure. So you see these next, this next portion over here, that's the next measure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out these two measures over here. Okay, cut that, copy that. Let's go on to our next page over here. And I'm going to go ahead and jump to a blank spot. Let's go ahead and put that over here. All right, so we took a look at the beginning. And remember, these notes over here with the little line, when they're the same note connected by those lines, you don't have to play them again. See something over here? The same rule is going to apply for these two notes over here. So, in essence, you don't have to play this again, you don't have to play that again, you just have to hold it. The same thing's going to apply for these two notes over here. You don't have to play them again. Let's just look ahead again and notice the same thing's going to happen over here. So what I like to do sometimes just to remind myself is just to X out the extra notes when I see those ties. And those are the notes, the lines that connect the same kinds of notes. There are other lines that you're going to see that will have a different function. This line over here is not connecting two of the same notes. This just is more of an expressive device that composers use to show that the notes underneath them should be smooth and connected as opposed to jumped off. Okay, so it's just a way of the composer asking you, please make sure it sounds smooth and connected. All right, so we had the first measure here. Okay, now notice we're tying through to the next measure here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next two notes. And keeping in mind we're holding this, okay? We had F and A flat over here, okay? Now, remember, second line from the bottom, that's our magic G clef note, right? G clef note G. We only have two safe notes, remember? C and F are the only ones that don't automatically have flats, okay? So, let's take a look at this. We have G, so that means G flat on the bottom here. Now take a look at this. We have a new symbol over here. And the belly of that symbol falls in line with this note over here, which is an A. Okay, so those notes are next to each other. G, A. Now this symbol is called a natural. And that natural means that whatever um, extra rules have been applied to it, whether it's to make the note lower or higher, in this case a flat, those rules temporarily go away. So instead of having the rule for the A flat for that A, that rule goes away and the A becomes an A natural. So you have now G flat and A natural. That's what you play over there. Okay, let me just write that down for you. A natural. Okay. So let's do this again from the very beginning. And I'm going to use, for fingerings, I like to use a 2 and a 4 and a 4 and a 2 on top here, and then a 2 and a 1 over here. So it looks like this. And I just move up. Okay. Now here, these two notes are going to fall in line very nicely over here. I can use my 1 and my 3 to connect those two. So once again, G flat and A natural. Okay. Now, no big deal. I can't connect the next thing, so I'm just going to move my hand over here like this. And I'm going to use a 3 and a 1 on these next two notes. Let's go ahead and find it really quick. We had an F and a D flat over here. Okay. okay. From that, it's the same note that's being tied over here. Notice top line. Now we're going down to the next note over here, which is an E, not in our safe zone, so that's an E flat. Okay. And the next note underneath, E, D, C, that is in our safe zone. So, C natural, okay, back to the F and D flat, and back to the E flat and C natural over here. See how that works? E flat, F, E flat, C, D flat, C. Okay, so just follow visually where the notes occur from space to line. So let's just do that much one more time. Ready? Just from the beginning. Okay. Now 
now I'm going to use my three and my one. Move my hand over. Okay. Good. Very good. That's the second measure. I'll see you at the next lesson.